Good morning, everyone. I'm Anurag, and today I'm going to be talking about Pancake, a system that employs frequency smoothing to protect encrypted data stores against access pattern attacks. This is joint work with my collaborators at Cornell Tech, Cornell, and Berkeley. With a large number of applications moving to the cloud for its ease of use, scalability, and cost efficiency, cloud-hosted data stores have become the fundamental building block for most cloud applications. A popular choice amongst these data stores are key value stores, where the data is represented as key value pairs stored in the cloud. And these key value pairs are accessed by external clients outside the cloud infrastructure. Now, the need for privacy and confidentiality in sensitive applications have led to a growing adoption of encrypted data stores. Such data stores typically have a trusted component, which comprises the clients, while the cloud storage forms the untrusted component. The clients typically keep the data encrypted in the data store for security using searchable encryption mechanisms to access the data. Unfortunately, simply encrypting the data is insufficient to ensure that the data is secure due to access pattern attacks. As an example, consider a medical appointment system that indexes patient records in a key value store based on the patient conditions. That is, the keys correspond to patient condition and the values correspond to patient records. In such attacks, the adversary, which in this case is an untrusted cloud provider, can observe how frequently specific patient conditions are accessed. The adversary also has prior distribution information about the underlying data. In this example, the adversary is aware of the relative frequencies of patient conditions, such as diabetes being three times as common as cancer. Equipped with this information, the adversary can correlate the patient condition frequencies from prior knowledge with the actual access frequencies across patient records in the key value store. The adversary can even guess if the subsequent access was made to a cancer patient record. Several recent papers have shown that an adversary can exploit such access pattern attacks in real world deployments. Most of prior work on preventing such attacks has focused on strong active adversary model, where the adversary can not only observe access patterns, but also inject accesses of its own. The most predominant of these approaches are oblivious RAM and private information retrieval. While such approaches provide strong security, they have prohibitively high performance overheads, making them impractical for most cloud deployments. In fact, many recent works have shown a log n lower bound on ORAM bandwidth overheads, the extremely high bandwidth and storage overheads for real world workloads. Searchable encryption approaches, on the other hand, assume a snapshot adversary model, where an adversary can observe a snapshot of the data store, eliminating the possibility of access pattern attacks altogether. While this enables high performance, the security is weak, and has been shown to be an unrealistic threat model for real world deployments. In this book, we consider a persistent passive adversary for access pattern attacks, where the adversary can observe accesses to the data store, but cannot inject or tamper with them. Prior works have shown this to be a realistic threat model for many cloud deployments. However, until now, it was unknown if bandwidth and storage efficient defenses for access pattern attacks are possible under the persistent passive adversarial model. To enable a performant defense in this adversarial model, we observe that the adversary relied on the access frequency distribution across data items for these attacks. In this work, we consider the question, what if the trusted system components were also equipped with the same distributional information? Can we reduce these overheads now? In fact, Many key value stores already maintain statistics about access distributions for enabling optimizations like efficient data caching policies. We build on this observation to show that it is in fact possible to employ frequency smoothing on encrypted key value pairs, which essentially flattens the known access frequencies across key value pairs so that an adversary always observes a uniform access distribution across them. We incorporate this technique into a system called Pancake and show that it can achieve secure security against access pattern attacks with constant storage and bandwidth overheads, 
We provide a formal security analysis for Pancake showing passive persistent security and perform comprehensive evaluation to show that Pancake can achieve two orders of magnitude higher throughput than ORAM approaches. All right, with that, let's take a deeper look at how we can actually employ frequency smoothing to prevent access pattern attacks. At a high level, we model all queries as being drawn from a known distribution pi, and then try to smooth the access distribution across either the original set of encrypted key value pairs or a larger superset. Let's take a look at a very simple technique that can achieve this. Assume you have four key value pairs with the access distribution as shown in this figure. One way to smooth this distribution is to replicate popular key value pairs and distribute the accesses across the replicas in a manner that ensures that the key, each key value pair is accessed equally. To any external observer, the access distribution across the key value pairs would now appear uniform. However, as you can see, this approach can require creating a lot of replicas, which can lead to high storage overheads. The other approach is to add fake accesses to unpopular key value pairs. Again, this would make the access distribution appear uniform to any external observer. Unfortunately, as you can see, adding fake accesses can add a lot of bandwidth overheads as shown by the red bars. The key idea in Pancake is to actually combine replication and fake accesses to bound both bandwidth and storage overheads. The fourth step in Pancake is to use replication, where we create just enough replicas for each key value pair to partially smooth out the access distribution with bounded storage overheads. In fact, our replication scheme ensures that storage increases by at most a factor of two. Since the resulting distribution is not completely uniform, we then add fake access distribution by F across the new set of key value pairs to smooth it out completely. Our combination of replication and fake accesses ensures that at most one fake accesses access from pi f needs to be drawn for every real access from pi to ensure a completely uniform final access distribution. In Pancake, we place the logic for frequency smoothing in a trusted proxy that forwards all requests on behalf of the clients. As queries arrive at the proxy, one challenge that needs to be addressed is issuing queries with our frequency smoothing approach in a manner that ensures an observer can never distinguish between real and fake queries. The approach we take is to always issue queries in pick size batches comprising a mix of real and fake accesses with equal probability. In particular, whenever a new query comes in from a client, we enqueue it at the pancake proxy. We then flip B coins, where B is the size of the batch. So in this example, we flip three coins because B equals to three. If the coin flip is a head, then we dequeue a query from the queue and or draw an access from the original access distribution pi if the queue is empty. If the coin flip is tails instead, we draw a fake access from the fake distribution pi f. When the batch is complete, the proxy sends it out to the cloud storage. In our implementation, we use a batch size of three as shown in this example. As such, our bandwidth overhead is exactly a factor of three, while our storage overhead is less than or equal to a factor of two. We show that this approach allows Pancake to provide formal security guarantees under a certain set of assumptions. First, we assume that the adversary is persistent passive, which means that while it can observe all accesses, it cannot inject or tamper with them, Second, we assume that Pancake has a reasonable estimate of the access distribution pi. Finally, we assume that real and fake accesses are indistinguishable at the cloud storage servers. Under these assumptions, a formal guarantee is referred to as real versus random indistinguishability under chosen distribution attack, or ROR-CDA for short. Without going into too much detail, in the real world, the adversary is given the Pancake's replicated and encrypted version of the key value store and a transcript of T queries generated by Pancake comprising both real and fake accesses. In the ideal world, the adversary is given a key value store comprising random bit strings along with a transcript of T uniform 
access uh, requests. We then show that to an adversary, both the real world and ideal world are indistinguishable from each other. We also resolve a number of additional challenges to ensure Pancake is secure and practical. For instance, in order to support updates to key value pairs with multiple replicas, we buffer updates to these replicas until the next time they are accessed to ensure security. In order to preserve security on changing access distributions, we dynamically adjust the fake access distribution and reassign replicas across key value pairs. Finally, in order to estimate access distributions and detect distribution changes, we employ standard statistical tools such as sliding window histograms and two sample case tests respectively. If you're interested in the details of how these techniques are incorporated into Pancake, please take a look at our paper. Before concluding, I wanna briefly talk about how Pancake performs for real world workloads. I will show the results for Pancake using a standard cloud storage backend, Redis, deployed in the cloud on Amazon EC2 instances, allow, along with Pancake Clangs and Proxy. The data set we use comprised of 1 million key value pairs of size 1 KB each, and we use the popular Yahoo cloud serving benchmark workload, comprising 50% reads and 50% writes across key value pairs. Our results show that Pancake requires four times lower cloud storage than Path ORAM, the state-of-the-art ORAM approach, and has a low proxy storage overhead, which is about 1% of the cloud storage requirement. We also see that Pancake throughput is 220 times higher than Path ORAM, with 12 times lower latency. I will note that we provide many more results in our paper. With that, I'd like to conclude this talk. I presented Pancake, a system that uses frequency smoothing to protect data stores against access pattern attacks at a constant factor storage and bandwidth overhead. With that, I'd like to thank you for your time and I'd be happy to take any questions.